Hey everybody, uh, this is the video on how to solve and graph two-step inequalities. All right, so uh, you should have two pages um, of your notes. In the, in the first page, I want you to follow along with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so take a look at the first problem here. We have uh, four times a number plus one is less than 45. All right. Now you solve this uh, inequality just like you would an equation. Okay, so first we want to uh, take away the constant, right? So we're gonna take away one from both sides. So that will now give us four times n is gonna be less than 44. All right, then I'm gonna divide both sides by four. And we're gonna end up with n is gonna be less than 11, okay? So now I need to graph this. So um, I'm going to put 11 right here. So we're going to have 11 followed by 12, and then 10 will be on this side. All right. And n is going to be less than 11. So it's going to be an open circle. And it's going to be all the values to the left of 11. And there it is. All right. Let's try this one. Here we have a number divided by negative 3, all right, minus 7 is greater than or equal to 2. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna first add 7 to both sides. And that's gonna result a uh, number divided by negative 3. It's gonna be greater than or equal to 9. All right, now I'm gonna multiply both sides by a negative 3. And that's gonna give us n is greater than or equal to negative 27. But I'm not done, and this is why. Remember that there's that golden rule with inequalities where if you multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative, you have to flip the sign, okay? So this is gonna actually end up as n, instead of being greater than or equal to negative 27, it's gonna be less than or equal to negative 27. And there's our solution, all right? So now to graph this, I'm gonna put negative 27 right here. All right, because we're talking about negatives, Negative 26 is going to be here, and negative 28 will be on this side, right? And we're going to have n is less than or equal to negative 27. So it's going to be a closed circle, because negative 27 could be one of our choices, all right? And it's going to be less than or equal to, so it's going to be all the values to the left of that closed circle. All right? So won't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems? And then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these practice problems here. All right, so the first one we have five times a number plus five is greater than negative 45, right? So step one, I'm gonna take away five from both sides, and that's gonna give us 5 times n is greater than negative 50. Careful with your negatives, right? Negative 45 minus 5 gives you negative 50. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And that's going to end up with n is going to be greater than negative 10. All right? So to graph this, I'm going to put negative 10 right here. And negative 9 will be to the right, followed by negative 8, and so on. And negative 11 will be on the left-hand side, right? and negative 12. So n is going to be greater than negative 10. So this is going to be an open circle. And it's going to be all the values to the right of the open circle. All right. The second one you have 6 times a number minus 16 is greater than or equal to 2. All right. So for this one, I'm going to first add 16 to both sides. And that will give us 6 times a number is greater than or equal to 18. All right. And then I'm going to now divide both sides by 6. And that's going to leave us with n is going to be greater than or equal to, well, 18 divided by 6 is 3. And there we are. And now I'm going to put 3 right here in the middle. So 3, and then we're going to have 4 and 5 going this way. And then we're going to have 2, 1, and 0 going this way. And n is going to be greater than or equal to 3. So this is going to be a closed circle, right? And it's going to be going to the right of the closed circle. So any value to the right of 3, including 3, 
can be a solution to the above inequality. All right, how'd you do?